First the top news headlines. Five cops, one civilian hurt in Imphal City IED blast. Quiramban women banders up against bomb blast. Rice min for Anganwadi centers allegedly converted to cash. Hello and good evening. Welcome to Times of Manipur. This is Hari Priya Tongram giving you the news in details. Five Manipur police personnel, including an additional superintendent of police and one civilian sustained injury when a powerful bomb suspected to be an improvised explosive device exploded near Sunny Mandir located at Busy Thangal Bazaar under Imphal City this morning at around 9.20. As per reports, some vehicles were also damaged by the impact of the explosion. The injured police personnel were identified as additional superintendent of police operations in Imphal West. Lamabam Amarjit, Sub Inspector Thongam Devan, ASI Ning Thousam Ibotomba Singh, ASI Kurai Jamboni, and Constable Hirong Boboy. The civilian was identified as Krishna Gurung of Pangai, Nepali Basti. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, along with a team of police officials, rushed to the site to take stock of the situation. No group have claimed responsibility. It may be noted that a high-intensity IED was exploded at Imphal's telepathy of Imphal East on the night of November 2nd last, leaving three BSF Jawans injured. Meanwhile, in connection with the November 2nd blast and today's Imphal City blast, the Manipur police has announced a case reward for rupees 1 lakh to any individual who can provide any information leading to the areas of the culprits involved in the incidents. Angry women vendors of Kwairamban Ketel today strongly condemned the bomb blast near Sunny Mandir, Thangal Bazaar this morning. Registering a protest, Kwairamban Nupi Ketel Sengbat Sagat Loop and Kwairamban Nupi Ketel Sinfam Amasung Saktam Kanbaluk demonstrated at the marketplace. Taking part in the protest, President of Kwairamban Nupi Kaitil Sengat Sagat Palup, Mayang Lambam Ongbi RK Radeshana condemned the incident and appealed that bombs should not be planted or exploded in public places. Radeshana further questioned the motive behind heavy deployment of armed forces in Manipur at the height of final leg of the Indonaga peace talks and suspected the government of India's hint in the latest bomb attack. And <laughs> Meanwhile, resource person of the three Imam markets, Kwairak Pambangi, also condemned the blast. 
See appeal to all the concern not to repeat such incidents. Koi Manipur chibu kai ke dra. Machhe na makai be yaro hai da Manipur prajaj je lai riba. Tomi kang pula mak thawai na pon thawai do chu. Hai da lai riba chai chu kuding ma imai bien kuding ma lai riba ma pham chida na thai raga. Chala bagim tagi bom to po kai do chhe. Machhe di khon mang kai thien da lai riba imai ching na adukko mati. Janing da ba hai da na koi na machhe miang mi ma pham da hana na phong dok sabani tauri ba mi do. Karamba, Kulai Pai, but no, a two of Matamda, Massi Sentoki of Pahina, Mama with a Quemiamna, Sanzing in Mapamda, Pulamaka Quina, Adana, Tadi, Tare Picau, Sadani, a two bottom Dutch and Dokpi Oxen in Queen Kanzadi. In Manipur, a large quantity of rice and rice mint for main Anganwadi and mini Anganwadi centers have been reportedly converted to gas illegally by three local firms in. Kahoots with the concerned departments. According to a reliable information received by Tom TV, three firms, namely MSRK and COMS BLL Agency and MS BLL Enterprises, were given permits to sell around 50,000 quintals of rice under a secret deal with the Under Secretary Manipur Government, Kosoni Fimu, in May of 2019. The information also maintained that the ration rice was meant for distribution to Anganwadi centers across the state under the wheat-based nutrition program. Around 80% of the ration rice has banished without a clue. The sources also informed that the three firms involved in the alleged fraud were given the tax for distribution of the rice at Anganwadi centers in Churachanpur, Imphal West, Senapati, Chandel, Thaubal, Bishnupur, Imphal East, Ukrul and Tamanglong districts. MLA of Thangmaiban constituency K.H. Joy Kishan has urged the Manipur government to convene a special Manipur assembly session before November 18, which is the proposed death for the next parliament session to begin. Joy Kishan wants the assembly to discuss the Indonaga Peace Ag Agreement. Talking to media at his Koyatong residence, the MLA said that the peace talks between the government of India and a nation I am wrap up on October 31st last. However, no final agreement is yet to be inked. He maintained that ending the long pending peace talks is a good step, but affecting the territorial integrity of Manipur, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh by the final outcome is not acceptable. He announced support to Kokomi led agitation in days to come. Joy Kishan also appealed to all 60 MLAs of Manipur to unite at this critical juncture. Miam na akhoida kari humka na dikdet taro kui opam na tiam akhoi apam ba miam ki aning budo phong taro pane. Masi tuan tuan ro manipuri kasin koi hada tuan tuan ro look miam na masi mira pai thuna makhoi ta kendal pai thuna akhoi ki manipur kai be aro ene sengsel ishe masi manipur parza miam ki apam bane. Pali bag lenga asina assembly session atu budo kubiu ato ka manipur parza da nunangi ba tang tu tu lai budo phiu mama lakpe yari ba. Hena sathi ba wash ro position lakpe ya bakya amal lai budo Masih kena bawa assembly sesi lawra ga Manipur Prasad Lising ke anda bawa hauri hau se MLA humpu akui noi na sanksi nabe tau se ayu se ayu lagi di bawa lainga loi na loi na MLA humpu si na apel tau se. Now we have a short commercial break. Coming up next, 239 Sri Sri Gopitna Jew Seva Object at Ning Thoko Bisnupur District. Luhong bagi furniture set kaloy na na still and style ama di local almira pang biragani. Furniture set ama laibada fian ama lem na hapchari. Loy na na ningol chakaw bagi akhan na bu offer su pizari. 
bed, dining table, office table, sofa, almira, fridge, asina ching bakudimak pang biragani. Nasimak lengsin biro steel decor. Sagol bantera akamlikai infal Manipur. Contact number 9612167042. Natraga 8794714511. Welcome back. The 239th Sri Sri Gopinath Yul Seva was observed today at Ning Thokong, Bishnupur District. The occasion remembered the moment when Maharaja Rasri Bhagya Chandra's son Jila Sana Bradbek, the idol of Lord Gopinath, got by his father from Kaina to Ning Thokong to worship the idol. Marking the event, several devotees offered fruits and flowers to the idol of Gopinath Yul. A Nat Sankritan was also performed, which was later followed by a feast. Talking to Tom TV on the sidelines of the religious event, former Secretary of Ningthokong Gopinath Sevayat Committee, R.K. Syamsunda, said the day is observed since the time of Prince Jilasana. Matanda Madan Mohan, Matanda Bijoy Govinda, High River Devata Sinsin Nirpon Tauru Matunda. Mahaki Pangja ki ban ngthau kong da pangja ki ban masai bo kiti dhaja. Hai ri ban upasi da masan upasi da. Bhai ga sandra na Sri Gopinath bo. Sogli singa satyar matu matoi hiang gay gi nip nipan nipan ba. Gosta sami nu misi da. Imo na hang na ngasi ko ban nu misi da gi Sri Gopinath imo bo seva pangja ro aduga. Kalaraj hai ba pangthola si masan hang pangja ro hai na nu mila juda si na bilam da gi. Nasi power list hang sinna. Kiki Dazagi Sada Nauda Punamana, Srikopnati Seva Tona Lai. On the other hand, P. Sivananda of Sri Sri Gopinadu Mandir hoped that today's special event will bring peace and stability to the land by the grace of Gopinadu. Sri Sri Gopinadu Yugi, Mapokumut Pantuk Sabasida, Lambda Masita Lady Ba. Adik itu kuna ayat itu lagi riba. Mani pun bumbak puna makpu. Santi, oibu, oira senu. Chief General Secretary of Janata Dal United Manipur State Unit M Dorendra today sided the Centre for offering meeting with stakeholder after settling the Naga Peace Agreement. Counselling content of the settlement is an ache against the interests of the state. Dorindra told priests met at the party office located at New Chekon Imphal. Flanked by senior vice president of JDU Manipur unit, Nimjalet Haukip, vice president Mohammed Anamudin, general secretary M. Surjit and president of JDU Besnupur unit, Osova, Dorindra further said, infringement upon territorial integrity of Manipur, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh, Due to the final solution to Naga political problem is unacceptable. He expressed serious concern over the ache of the center cancelling the Indo-Naga agreement after the talks ended on October 31st last. Honorable CM na gi lusing na sa libat tim sida political party sing sidi only just win yas neva. Mam di ako ina kaimta hayo yadi kaimta ngang mataba nate. Politik yang parti kun sale, mui taruk mui taruk kat tengah unaraga adem halai. Di lisa lu rahay lu deh. Adem macam mana efektif tu iway 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 kita bagi mung tu iu udah ba. Koi unar bel siam nasu hai tau unar bel mau pestok si matang si tak kiri mau puen. Aku mau kang bangam dia. Nak koi koi unar jawab kau tinggi meeting kau tinggi tu tak pi deh. Aduh kang bangam dia kang bangam dia nasum lay bersih na yadu ribera. Tangai pada na kai tau buaya ke hai betusu. Kau di lepa amak yang pipa wena magi saya tahu, kau nampak tak kau jawab, kau nampak tu ye na kau ikhlan je. All Manipur United Clubs Organisation Amuku Nando Luang today raised deep concern over heavy deployment of central paramilitary forces in the state. Nando asks whether these armed personnel have been sent into suppress the people's movement or because of the fear of a violent uprising. Speaking an, at an alert meeting at Naharup, organized by the Naharup Awanglekai Women Welfare Association, Amuko President Nando further said that the Indo Naga peace talks have created disorder in Manipur. He said, suppressing the voice of the people by the government of India will leave the country red face in eyes of the world 
community. Nando appealed to the government of India to refrain from any move that can harm the territorial integrity of Manipur. Manipur ki miyam na kari guma khongjanga ma jangkhen ma matam da koi kana gumba pithibi ki leba amadagi tamni ngai wai de. Hai bide Manipur miyam na masagi mating yau na masagi mafuru maram dam kanna bagi na khongjang jangi bada masada akhak pray tena khongjang jangi lai bese. How ki bata angkak ya da ut ki bata hokjok singa koi paraman oer bani. How jee go melo bindi ana. Manipur ki miyam bu nampu hapu da military ki nampu hapu da sepai thana ki nampu hapu da nam dera thamaga ma koi ki aning bapa mat dogu ne hai bado ma du maliam ki miyam da. Ika ibu nangga dapat gua melo bin dia kita tuh silam ni hai ning. Manipur ki miam, niway ke amas show ki biay, si ki biay. Nada kita kudung kita ke aman nang ki biay. Ada bagua melo bin dia na. Satu raga dapat nampu hapu ki sak. Habak amat tadi, mai pahalu ayah saya Manipur miam ki. Aku ki asyik pak. Firi apa mana ayah saya gua melo bin dia na kangen hai ning. Aku ki lah, jadi bah aku ki sakdam, aku ki integriti, aku ki culture, aku ki identity. Bukan orang si mak nang bagi lambi rom dah mui na. Tongan ber konstitusion, tongan ber plat. Makan makan gi, aku gi kanyo macam si potolok pun sih malam oiraga. Isam cam nilai jadi ba, aku gi mama gue bi, aku pun ada macam si am na, puning na sih dah mipai ba. Ini sih na ayam ga, baru cerkar ga. Aku gi, yang na bagi soi jauh macam zaman ni pun cerkar mukai ba, ya roy hai bagi kola wan sih keloi na na. Aku ni ngasi mampu macam dah, asih kumba, mia nupi mia gi gue mampu macam koi pamsa bani. Women organization Hararau Tangkam Apun Bamira Paibi today held an alert meeting at Hararau Community Hall today in support of Kokomi. The meeting demanded the government to disclose the content of the recent Naga Peace Agreement at the alias. Manipur da kunda lai ta duna liri ba naga na ekopai ta oriba yagasing adu da tori territorial council da mo pige ni adu ki sem sabay arrange bin tau gini na hairek pa do madu na maram du da ekoi Manipur da sing da bom puhale kari kita mo territorial ekoi council sem gudiri bina sing question na malay ma kui na talibu dimanda how far is this true kaya am sumi Manipur ki itihas sahi ki agi li sing ki adi ki lai reba koi ki Manipur ki boundary adu gumba bridges ki record lai kraba adu gumba boundary ma yam sing amma boundary yasi ये न बोले इतना रे बंदर ये सिर्फ करेगी तो मुझे कोई ठुकाई नहीं रहेगा लाल हो वो लूप बंद है दिमाग तो वो याद ना कोई मन पूर्ण ठुकाई किधर ही बनो सीनी लोकसभा एमपी डॉक्टर आर के रंजन टुडे डिक्लेयर द चनम संड्रोग विलेज अंदर चनम संड्रोग ग्राम पंचायत एस वन ऑफ द मॉडल विलेजेस ऑफ मणि� during the launch function held at Thiam Konjil Community Hall of Chanam Sandrok, Imphal East, Kairau Assembly Constituency MLA L. Rameshwar Maitai, Jila Parishat of Bamon Gampu Golmai Kachungna, Imphal East, Deputy Commissioner Rangita Bli Waikom and Pradhan of Sando Gram Panchayat, K. Sundar were present. Talking at the event, MLA R. K. Ranjan said that simply adopting the village as a model Village without doing the needful will not bring any development. He underlined on the roles of residents and Gram Panchayat members for proper functioning and maintaining of the model village. So, Forty-seven-year Muhammad Fayai Ahmad, a Rohingya Muslim from Myanmar, who had spent more than seven years in Rajasthan jail, was today finally handed over to Myanmar authority with proper documents in the presence of ASDPO of Mori Immigration Office, L. 
may governor and officials of Rajasthan police. It is word to mention that after completing his jail term, Fayai Ahmed was brought by Rajasthan police to Moray on October 23rd last. However, due to lack of proper documents, the Myanmar Immigration Authority refused him to take back, following which he had to spend 13 days at the Moray police station. As part of Betty Bachao Betty Parao, the district administration Imphal East, in collaboration with DPU ICDS Self, Imphal East today launched and distributed East leads to Anganwadi centers in Imphal East. The event was held at Panchayat Bhavan DC office complex, Porompat Imphal. Rajya Sabha MP Ketri Mayum Bhavananda Singh, Social Welfare Director NG Utam, and Imphal East Deputy Commissioner. Dr. Rangitavali Waikom attended the function. The East Leeds were sponsored by Rastamji Karawala Foundation. East Leeds were distributed to more than 100 students during the function. At the event, MPK Bhavananda noted that with the passage of time, the society is bombarded with modern technologies and state-of-the-art equipment that enhance the living standard. He said, that easelets have been provided to children to stimulate the learning process right from the very basic level. He added that a society needs transformation for development and toward this end, we need activities. The 21st edition of North East Book Fair is underway at the playground of the Assam Engineering Institute, located at Chanmari. The book fair, which began from November 1, will continue till November 12. It is organized by the All Assam Publisher and Booksellers Association. Like every year, the organizing committee dedicates this book fair in the name of famous personalities, educationists, and scholars of the region. A special program will be held today in memory of legendary music maestro Dr. Bupen Hazarika. There will be a series of seminars and interaction programs during the 12-day long fair. As many as 217 bookstores, including one from Bangladesh, are being put up at the fair. <laughs> Now let's have another short commercial break. Do stay tuned for more updates. Special Lingal Chakuba and Diwali offers 10% discount on labor charts, 5% discount on spare parts for Hyundai cars only, benefits on purchase of 4 Michelin tires, free alignment, free balancing, free nitrogen, free removing and refitting, 3 years warranty on all tires. For more details, please visit SM Motors Airport Road, Ghali, near Comprehensive Concept School, Infa, or contact us at 9366-508-258. Welcome back. As many as 14 students have been injured after a Delhi public school Gauhati bus collided with another vehicle in Gauhati this morning. According to sources, Bus number 7 of the Delhi Public School, Gawahati, collided with bus number 56 in National Highway 37 near the Lalung Gawan area in Gawahati. The 14 injured students have been rushed to Excel Care Hospital in Gawahati City. All of them are undergoing treatment. As per the eyewitness, the Delhi Public School buses were on their way to the school carrying students when a person ran across the highway and the bus had to apply brakes immediately. Following this, the bus behind it also stopped but could not control the vehicles and ultimately collided with the vehicles in front. 
leading to injury of the students, including the driver. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma is going for a three-visit to, three to Bangladesh today. His trip is a part of the Act East policy taken up under the Government of India. In connection to this, the young leader said that he along with his official will go by road to feel and experience of what Bangladeshi national feels. Konrad K. Sangma added the visit aims in deepening cooperation in tourism sector, strengthening agriculture, horticulture value chains, expanding border trade and other areas. Global trade barriers must be removed and countries should uphold basic multilateral trade principles while standing firm against protectionism, Chinese President Xi Jinping said today, according to media reports. Speaking at the opening China Inter International Import Expo and Annual Import Show in Shanghai that kick-started today, Xi said more must be done to boost international cooperation and remove barriers to innovation. He reiterated broad pledges to continue to open China's economy and markets and strengthen protection of intellectual property rights. Turkey captured the sister of that ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi on Monday in the northern Syrian town of Ajaz, along with her husband and daughter-in-law. Rasmia Awad, 65, was detained in a raid near Ajaz, Turkey's controlled Syrian town near the border, official said. When captured, she was also accompanied by five children. Baghdadi killed himself last month when cornered in a tunnel during a raid by U.S. Special Forces in northwestern Syria. ISIS is an audio tape posted online confirmed that its leader had died and war revenge against the United States. Turkey's President Tayyip Erdogan's communications director said the women's captures were, was evidence of Turkey's determination to fight against ISIS. Now we have sports news. Imphal West District 7A side village mains open football tournament 2019 wrap up today at the Kumbung Playground Imphal West. The tournament was organized by Imphal West Students Clubs Kumbung under the sponsorship of Koro Finance and Sangai Sports Kumbung. Speaking during the closing function as Tip Gays, Emily of Konthausam constituency Dr. Sapam Ranjan said that Progress will come only when one is punctual and work on time. In the final match they played today, LKSU Loitang Kuno defeated Moidang Pok FC by 5-3. Sports men discipline. Discipline is quite a Physical fitness to Panana by the Makta Masagi technique to Hainana by the Makta Quite a Gimaru is a discipline. Discipline is a quite a Gimaru about punctuality. Matam Chapsana Hai, a way to go to Boxe, a city quite a Gimaru. Tunga Manipuki Chocolate Nobody can use it up. A quick punctuality is a quick matam. Matam Chapsana Hobos, a quick Simatan of the Kip to Munga Mogadi, a quick development key. The sixth edition of Chief Minister Sub Veteran and Veteran Badminton Championship will be organized at Jirampur in Changlang district of Arunachal Pradesh from November 27 to 29. As per media reports, the championship is being organized by the Changlang District Badminton Association under the aegis of the Arunachal State Badminton Association. 
The championship will be held under five events that includes men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, women's doubles and mixed doubles under different age groups. Before we close, let's see the top news headlines once again. Five cops, one civilian hurt in Imphal City IED Plus. Quiramban women benders up against bomb blasts. And rice min for Anganwadi centers allegedly converted to two gas. That's all for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us and keep watching Time So Manipur News Update.